Welcome back. I am glad you joined me for this little series of two videos. One to create this tin, and now this video is going to create the accordion fold book that we're going to put inside the tin so that it can pull out when you pull the uh, little button with the string on the back of the booklet. So this is the completed project and let me share with you how I made that. My name is Peg and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I am new to this venue. I've only been participating in mixed media for about a year and I like to be very experimental and explore and I have kind of an eclectic taste so I go across all different types of venues and if you enjoy that please hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So to create this booklet I utilize toilet paper tubes and I am creating the accordion folder out of these tubes. I have squished them, cut them each in half and cut a size of that toilet paper tube down to the size that I want to represent and a size that will fit inside this Altoid tin. So we have that nice cardboard that that tube is created out of. To decorate these, I'm going to use these stencils that are created or were created by PM Artist Studio and you can purchase those over on their website and I would encourage you to go take a look. There's a lot of nice stencils there. I'm using them just to lay some color down but to give just a little bit of dimension or a little bit of interest to the color. So I've laid down a uh, burnt umber and a stencil on top of it and then I've placed, placed my toilet paper tubes atop the gel press. So I'm utilizing the gel press to distribute this color. Come back in with the same color, same stencil. I'm just flipping them over and doing the reverse side using two colors, the burnt umber and the gray green. And that is what I used on the outside of the tin as well. So back with some gray green. A different stencil from this is Lattice from PM Artist Studio. And we'll get that down. And I think that's creating some pretty decent color background on these toilet paper tubes. There's just a different stencil. And I will put a link on where you can get these stencils in the blog that is associated with this project. And you'll find that blog over on my website at twoolcrowsmixmedia.com. So now that we have all of those with the color on them, I realized that I didn't create a piece to attach them to, to adhere them into this tin. So I've just cut a, um, a piece that folds in half and my thought process is I'll attach one side like this into the bottom of that tin and then attach the accordion booklet to the other side and that will allow it to pull out of that tin. I'm just going to define that fold with my bone folder. And that will glue right in there. And that fits in there nice. Okay, so now I need to add some color to that. And I shall do so off screen. These are the eight that have already been colored. And prepared and now I am adding some pattern paper to each one of them and I've cut the pattern so or I have torn it so I have pieces that all have that black line 
through it. And I want each piece to have that front and back. So I will put it on the front of each, allow that to dry, and flip it over and do the same thing on the back. Those are all covered, dry, and I'll just trim those up. And there, we are to this point. So now I want to stamp over the top of them. And I'm using Stazon Black ink and a wooden script stamp. And I'm standing up to deliver the stamp because it is one I found that on these bigger stamps, you have to use a little more pressure to get that ink to transfer. So I'm going to flip them over and do it on the back side as well. And there. I think that looks nice. So you have the background that we laid down, you have a piece of the pattern paper, and we've stamped over the top of that. And I think that makes a pretty interesting piece. So now I'm just going to come back with this postage stamp stamp and hit each one of these front and back with that in just random places. And now I have all of these little tags that are made out of craft paper and I'm stamping the word creative, um, one letter on each tab. And once I get them stamped, I'm going to pull out that little piece of elastic that was on there, ink around the outside edge of them, and I shall get them adhered to each one of these pieces. But before I glue those down, I've decided to bring that bronze that I had on the tin into these cards. So I'm pulling out some of the more stencils and just and putting it through the stencil. And I'm just using a cosmetic sponge to do that. And I'm just being very random. And I'm liking the way that looks. And then we'll do the same on the back. So we have those all complete, and I want to add some additional color to the outside, kind of frame them in, and after I get them framed in, I want to add some dimension to them. So I have decided to take them to my embossing machine. I'm putting them in an embossing folder, and I'll run them through my Big Shot. And once those are run through with some pressure. You can see the nice definition that those embossing folders give this toilet paper substrate. And to define that, I'm hitting each piece with the black stays on ink.
And now it's time to glue the word creative onto the front of these. And I thought, what should I put on the back? So I decided to use creative thought. So you can see up in the upper right hand corner where I have another stack of those little um, tags and they are waiting to be adhered to the back with the word thought. But before I do that, I've put the liquid pearls into that little hole and those are going to have to dry and, and I have found that I like to let these set and dry for an hour or if not more sometimes I'll leave them overnight to avoid smudging those liquid pearls but this is how this looks thus far so now to attach them together and I decided to use labels to do that this is a two inch label and I am going to color it with my gel press and I'm going to use the same two colors that I used on the toilet paper tube. So I'm laying down the burnt ember first and we'll kind of run a stencil over that so that we have just a, a little interest in that color when we lay it down. Nothing serious. You can see the labels are coming up a little bit. So we'll come back with a second color, which is that gray green. Yet another stencil. Then we'll put those labels on to pick up that gray green. And I think we have some pretty good color laid down on those labels now. So to use them to accordion these toilet paper tubes, I am cutting a three-quarter inch circle um, out of each label and I will stick two together so that the sticky sides are together. Ink around the outside edge of it. And this was kind of cumbersome a little bit because the sticky, you know, when you pulled the label off, the sticky side was sticking to the die, and it, but it worked. So now I'm going to glue two on, and I'm going to put that just kind of off to the side, not completely up to the halfway mark, because I want the halfway mark to be where the fold is. And then we'll glue two on one side, and one on the opposite side so we have some extra strength and extra reinforcement. So there's two on one side and one on the other. And now when we go to do the next one we'll do one. So I've done a few and let me just show you the sequence. So I'm dying two on this particular piece flipping that over and then adhering the next one in line and then gluing one on that side. So now we'll bring it back to the front and glue one. Flip it over. And then glue two. So your sequence is two, one, two, one, two, one throughout. There's that last little label there to end that off. Now we'll just make the accordion fold and that will work out nicely. So now to adhere it to that piece that is going to be glued down, I used one big two inch label on each side and just adhere that so there's a good solid connection there. And I'm going around the outside edge of all of those little labels with my Stabilo awl.
And then I'll wet my finger and smudge that up. And now to decorate a piece to put on the very end, because as I folded this up, I thought, you know what, I don't want to open this up and have there be an E. So I decided to add one more piece of the toilet paper tube, and we'll add this to the end when we get it decorated. But where it folds over, or that last accordion fold, I'm going to duplicate the same type of thing that I put on the inside front cover. And this is where I'm putting that button. And I'm just tying some loose thread through that button and I'll tie it off in a square knot. And I'm going to glue it right on the top of a little piece of cheesecloth. So I'm going to put down the linen first a piece of the coffee filter, that little piece of cheesecloth, and my button. So now we'll attach that to the very end, or to the E. And I let that glue dry before I go in and score or fold all of those. And now to kind of add something to that blank space that's going to be on the inside of that book, I have pulled some lunch bag paper, craft paper, and have pinned the word creative on it. And I am just going to glue that down on that inside of the tin. And to make sure that that stays affixed and doesn't go anywhere, I'm just hitting it with some glue and water mixture or homemade Mod Podge on top of it. And now to put the word thought on the back, we'll adhere down those little tags on the other side and we'll come back and do the same thing with them with the liquid pearls. So we'll glue them down first and they've been inked around and are ready to go. And now we'll just stick that liquid pearl where that little hole is. And we'll let that dry. And once dry, we are ready to put our accordion book into this tin. So I'm just giving a good coat of glue to that piece that I made to affix. And now when you pull that out, you can see both sides. It will stand up. And we are complete. So that completes this altered Altoid tin with an accordion fold booklet that pins or says creative thought. Creative on one side, thought on the other. We've put some verbiage inside that book to kind of illustrate the fact that we're trying to figure out or trying to creatively think why that lady may have those two unattached hands on her shoulders. And I am going to have to figure that out and look that up, and I'll let you know when I find out. But thank you so much for being here. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe. I will be creating yet another accordion folder for the Makers Creative Collab that is in February. So I hope you will come back and join me for that. Bye for now.